Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the game passes and rating them, giving my honest opinion. And if you are currently considering getting a game pass or a couple game passes, this is the video for you because I'm going to be going into depth with these. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Bloxburg like page, I guess, and then go to store if you wanna look at the game passes. You don't have to buy them in game. And we've got a whole bunch. We've got seven game passes in this game and I'm gonna open them in a different tab so then I can read the description of them. Okay, so the excellent employee game pass. This makes you a truly excellent employee, increasing both your earnings and how often you get promoted. This one is really, really nice, especially when you are maxed out in a job. So like it says, it increases your earnings and how often you get promoted. So you get more money. I think your numbers double when you serve something. So if I'm serving an ice cream, then it's actually gonna count as two. So that'll help you get promoted faster. The next one is premium. As a premium member, you get half bills, double daily rewards, a special name tag, increased donation limit, and the ability to choose your plot. So this one is really helpful, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's kind of expensive. And I feel like it could be like maybe 300 or 350. I feel like 200 is kind of an iffy just because it does give you so many options in the game. But for the premium tag, I feel like it's not very exciting. I mean, especially for me, because I go in my neighborhood. So I just get the host tag, which I definitely prefer. So the half bills, is a lifesaver, especially for my water park. So my water park, I think the bills are almost almost 6,500 and I have the premium game pass. So if they were not split in half, about 13,000 blocks per cash every time I had to pay the house bills, which is ridiculous. So I am so thankful for this. The double daily rewards is actually really nice as well, especially for the block bucks and a special name tag. I kind of have mixed opinions. I feel like it's cool if you want it, but at the same time it's just kind of there like it doesn't really do much increased donation limit and the ability to choose your plot so the donation limit is definitely really nice especially for someone who does giveaways like me so the donation limit if you don't have the game pass I think it's 10,000 and if you have the game pass then it's 50,000 so huge difference and then the ability to choose your plot is really really nice especially if you're a speed builder you don't want to be like on the inside of the city you want to be like where there's just like a hill behind you when you're building so that is something really nice to have or if you're trying to meet up with friends then you guys can have plots next to each other or if you're building with a bunch of people like the giant racetrack I did with Matt's BXB you have to be in the correct plot in order to do that out of all of these options I feel like the halved bills and the ability to choose your plot are the best the next one is the multiple floors game pass. Allows you to build up to five floors and make your house even more awesome. This one is so nice. If you only have one floor, you can't really do that much and there's a lot of limitations to your creativity. And I would definitely agree with the price. 300 is perfect for this one. I don't think I have any issues with the multiple floors game pass. It's just a really nice one to have. So if you do have the Robux, I highly recommend this one, especially if you want like a two story home or you want a two story home but you want like that three-story look where it looks like an attic but it's just like decorative windows the next is the unlocked stereo the price I know a lot of people disagree with it and they're not wrong <laughs> it is way too expensive for like doing almost nothing now for someone who hosts events on their plot it's really nice to have, but I feel like it's not really used. And if you do use it, then maybe it's just like when you're driving around or something, but the range isn't really that great on the stereo. I wish it was wider or like filled up the whole plot because I have to place so many radios around. I just, I hide them. I don't know if you guys have seen them at my events, but I try to hide the radios around the plot as best as I can. But the problem is I can't have the radios playing different songs. There's always one radio that plays like all the songs. Then I have to copy that radio and place it somewhere else. But before I place it somewhere else, I have to put another one down, change the song, and then it just stays on repeat in that area. <laughs> it's so annoying sometimes, but I I don't know. I mean, it's better than having like no music at your event. It just, it doesn't really do that much. And I feel like it could be fixed to make it better. And for the price, like it's just, it's not really fair. Advanced placing. I absolutely love the price of this game pass. I feel like it's really fair. A hundred, like you obviously don't get a lot of profit off of that. And the game creator does 
need the profit. So having it at 200 is perfect. It's still affordable. And I think if you get a Roblox gift card, I think you do get more than 200. So you definitely can get this. And I think the lowest gift card is $10. And then you still will have Roblox leftovers. So what advanced placing is, is it allows you to place objects without collision checks in build mode, which means that they can be placed inside of each other. This has also been a huge deal lately because we have the basic shapes, which can be reshaped and you need the advanced placing for that. You also need advanced placing for the water slides, I believe. I think someone told me that. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure you do need this for the water slides. But if you did have to buy a game pass, I think this would be the number one choice for me because you can do absolutely anything with the advanced placing. If you have the advanced placing, you can make, you can make a freaking dinosaur if you wanted to because you have the ability to reshape the basic shapes. This one's absolutely worth it. If you had to choose one, this is the one to go for. All right, so the large plot, this increases your boundary size to 50 by 50. If you are someone who loves to make giant plots, then this is one that is very nice to have. If you are someone who prefers like small aesthetic homes, wouldn't recommend it just because you don't need that much space. This one is like a 50-50. I, I really do think, haha, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> How do I explain this one? This one is there if you need it. And the price is really good too. And last but not least, we have the basement game pass. This would be my second to last option. This is a little bit above the unlocked stereo game pass because it does have more uses. But at the same time, I don't really use the basement game pass. The only time I use it is like, uh, well, here's an example. The decal floor build hack that Float came up with, you need the basement for that. And I don't know, if you want like small stairs, then you have to place stairs in the basement and put them like on something. But otherwise, I don't really use this one. <laughs> I have it just in case. I'm using it for sure in my next build that I'm working on, but like, I don't know. It, it's just, it's cheap. That's it. <laughs> if you want to trap people in a basement and you just want to put some carpet above it, go for it. But otherwise, I really don't think it's that useful. So wouldn't recommend, but if you have plans for a basement, then go for it. Okay, so time to rate these. I'm gonna do would highly recommend and would not recommend, but they're all nice. I don't wanna say would not recommend. I'm gonna say my last choices. So all the way at the bottom, we have the unlocked stereo. And I feel like a lot of people can agree with that one. The second would be the basements. Then I don't know. It's between premium and large plot. I'm gonna say large plot and then same with the premium I'm gonna put the premium above the large plot then I would put the excellent employee game pass you can still make plenty of money and you can still level up and get promoted yes it's faster but if you only had enough to spend on one game pass then that's not the one I would get then I would do the multiple floors game pass because it is really nice to have and at the top I would say advanced placement just because of how much you can do with it and there are a lot of updates on it now so like it wouldn't hurt to have and without advanced placing I wouldn't have any of the build hacks on my channel and with the build hacks you can make them functional which is awesome hopefully this answered any questions about the game passes if you're looking for one and if you have not yet subscribed make sure you do and I will see you guys in my next video